we're asked to give the center vertices and foci of the ellipse. Before we begin, let's look at the notes below. The standard equation of an ellipse is in one of the two forms shown below, where a is greater than b, meaning a squared is the larger denominator. So if the larger denominator is under the x part of the equation, we have a horizontal major axis. If the larger denominator is under the y part, we have a vertical major axis. The center is the ordered pair h comma k. The endpoints of the major axis are a units from the center. The endpoints of the minor axis are b units from the center. And then before we find the foci, we have to find c using the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared. The foci are on the major axis c units from the center. So looking at our equation, notice the larger denominator is under the x part of the equation. This indicates we have a horizontal major axis. An easy way to remember this is to think of the x-axis, which is a horizontal axis, and because the larger denominator is under the x part, the ellipse has a horizontal major axis. Next, a squared is the larger denominator. In this case, a squared is equal to 16, which indicates a is equal to four, since four squared is equal to 16, and b squared is equal to nine, which indicates b is equal to three. And now let's go ahead and find the center of the ellipse. Because we have the square of x plus two, the x coordinate of the center is negative two. And because we have the square of y minus three, the y coordinate of the center is positive three. Let's go ahead and plot this on the coordinate plane. And now again, because we know we have a horizontal major axis, and the endpoints of the major axis are a units from the center, because a is equal to four, we will now add and subtract four to the x coordinate of the center, which is negative two. If we add four to negative two, negative two plus four is positive two. Two comma three is the right end point of the major axis. And now I go back to the center and subtract four from the x coordinate of the center. Negative two minus four is negative six. Negative six comma three is the left end point of the major axis. These are two of the vertices. The major axis is always two a units in length. And now we use b to find the endpoints of the minor axis. The minor axis is a vertical axis, and therefore we'll add and subtract b to the y coordinate of the center to find the endpoints. If we add three to the y coordinate, three plus three is six, negative two comma six is one endpoint of the minor axis. Going back to the center, we now subtract three from the y coordinate, three minus three is zero, Negative two comma zero is the other endpoint of the minor axis. Notice the minor axis has a length of two b. Let's go ahead and list the four vertices in the upper right-hand corner. We have negative six comma three, two comma three, negative two comma six, and negative two comma zero. And now before we find the foci, we need to find C because the foci are C units from the center. And because they're on the major axis, we know we have to add and subtract C to the X coordinate of the center. So using the equation C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. In our case, we have C squared is equal to 16 minus nine. This gives us C squared is equal to seven. Taking the principal square root of both sides, we have c is equal to square root seven. So before we actually plot them on the coordinate plane, let's find the exact coordinates. Again, because the foci are on the major axis, we add and subtract seven to the x coordinate of the center. So on the left, we'd have negative two minus square root seven comma three. On the right, we'd have negative two plus square root seven comma three. Now to plot these on the coordinate plane, it's probably best to get a decimal approximation. For the first focus, negative two minus square root seven is approximately negative 4.65. Negative 4.65 comma three is approximately here. On the right, negative two plus square root seven is approximately 0 0.65. 0 0.65 comma three is approximately here. And now before we go, let's go ahead and sketch the ellipse passing through the four vertices. I 
I hope you found this helpful.